Good morning, grade 8 students. Today we are going to do the second part of the reading lesson, Eastwood Secondary School, plus vocabulary. So please open your students' books, page 20. For today's lesson, we have three main objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to locate specific information through answering six comprehension questions correctly. Express your opinion through discussing over to you questions fluently. Use units of measurements by completing five sentences accurately. Do you still remember the vocabulary you have learned while reading the school blog, page 22? Let's play a guess what game and find out. I'm going to show you the definitions of the words and you have to guess what they are. Number one. A building where objects of historic, scientific or artistic interest are kept. Can you guess the word? That's right. Museum. Number two. A hall in which pictures, sculptures, or other objects of interest are displayed. Excellent! Exhibition Hall Number 3 A word that means extremely surprised. Can you guess the word? Great job! The word is amazed. Number four, a word that means to believe something will happen in the future. Great, the word is expect. Number five, a word that means extremely large. Can you guess the word? Great job, the word is giant. In the previous lesson, you skimmed this post very quickly and found out that it's about the experience of three students who visited the American Museum of Natural History. The students wrote about the things they enjoyed the most at that amazing place. Now it's time for reading the text in depth, word by word, in order to find answers for some comprehension questions. So please pause the video Read the text very carefully, then read the questions and try to figure out the answers. Are you ready? Let's begin with the first question. Why is it important to visit museums according to the Eastwood Secondary School blog? Excellent! Because it's important to learn by experience. Question number two. When did they visit the American Museum of Natural History? Great job! Last Thursday. Now let's move on to the third question. Where is the American Museum of Natural History? Well done! In New York City. Question number four. What was Brian's favorite exhibit? Great job! A slice of tree trunk, which used to be part of a giant sequoia tree. Question number five. How old was the tree trunk when it was cut down? That's right. 1,400 years old. The last question. Had Tyler ever visited the American Museum of Natural History before? Correct. No, it was his first time there. Now let's go through the activities of the book. Activity C. Scan the text again, then read the sentences very carefully. Write T for true, F for false, or NM for not mentioned. 
Take a couple of minutes to do the activity. Time to check your answers. 1. Brian, Tyler and Mark all go to the same school. This sentence says, Excellent. It's true. 2. Brian's favorite exhibit was in one of the dinosaur halls. This sentence says, False. Well done. Can you justify your answer? That's right. Brian's favorite exhibit was in the Hall of North American Forests. 3. The slice of the tree is from a tree which grew to be 92 years old. This sentence says, Well done. It's false. Can you justify your answer? Correct. It was a slice of a tree trunk which used to be part of a 92 meter tall tree in California and it was 1,400 years old when it was cut down. 4. Tyler's classmates liked the model of the blue whale. This sentence says That's right. Not mentioned. This piece of information is not mentioned in the text. Five. Tyler saw models of some of his favorite animals in the Hall of African Mammals. Excellent. This sentence is true. Six. Mark saw the largest dinosaur model in the world at the museum. Very good. This is not mentioned in the text. 7. Mark remembers the names of all the dinosaurs whose fossils he saw. Well done. This sentence is false. Can you justify your answer? Excellent, because he said he forgot the names of the other dinosaurs. 8. T-Rex's teeth were 5 centimeters long. Great job! This sentence is false too. Can you justify your answer? Very good. T-Rex's teeth were 15 centimeters long. Well done. Over to you. Over to you gives you a chance to express your own opinion. So what do you think? Do you think Brian, Tyler and Mark would recommend this museum to other schools? Justify your answer. Why or why not? Very good. One suggested answer is yes, because it gives students the opportunity to see objects from nature and animals or animal parts that no longer exist from up close and learn more about them. These three students were all very excited about their experience, so they would definitely tell others to go as well. Question number two. Do you think schools should visit museums? Justify your answer. Why or why not? Excellent. One might say, I think schools should visit museums because they are educational for students. They can learn many interesting things there that they can't learn in class. Question number three. What other places should schools visit and why? Well done. One suggested answer is, schools can visit parks, zoos, art galleries, and planetariums. It's very important for a school to visit different places because the students will have the chance to learn many different things. Also, not everyone is interested in the same things. Vocabulary. 
Now we are going to talk about the different units of measurement that we use for weight and length. For weight we use gram. We also use kilogram or kilo, which is 1000 grams. We use ton, which is 1000 kilograms. For length we use centimeter. We use meter, which is 100 centimeters. We use kilometer, which is 1000 meters. Now listen and read, then complete the sentences. 2. Vocabulary Listen and read, then complete the sentences. Units of measurement Weight Gram Kilogram Kilo Ton Length Centimeter Meter Kilometer Now take a couple of minutes and try to do the activity. Let's check your answers. 1. The distance between Paris and London is 344 kilometers. Excellent. 2. Adult Asian elephants weigh between 2.5 and 5.5 tons. Well done. 3. Scientists believe that Tyrannosaurus rex was up to 12 meters long and 3.7 meters tall and weighed between 5,000 and 7,000 kilograms. Excellent! 4. My cat's tail is 30 centimeters long. 5. We only have 150 grams of sugar. Great job! Practice time. Choose the correct answer. My pencil is 15 centimeters long. Excellent! The from here to school is three and a half kilometers. Well done. The distance from here to school is three and a half kilometers. What's the of the Empire State Building? Great. What's the height of the Empire State Building? For extra practice, complete the following. Pay attention that you need to write the given numbers and the abbreviations in words, and vice versa. Pause the video, do the activity, then check your answers. Are you ready? Let's have a look at your answers. Number 1. Excellent! 67 centimeters. Number 2. Great job! 42 kilometers. Number three. Well done. 458 kilos or kilograms. Number four. 13 meters. Number five. 182 grams. Number six. 628 tons. You are amazing. Well done. Thank you for watching.